We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This one taken just inside the 10. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They start on the ground with Elliott. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The last run got six, now second and four. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of the drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Forced out to his left. Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play call, or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It was Brandon Graham that came in there and got it. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Prescott. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Touchdown! Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 23. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. 
A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Hurt sets up to throw it. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Hurts. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 33. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They go to Elliott again. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space, a loss results there. On third down, it's Prescott. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Prescott on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and it'll be a turnover on downs. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Throwing again on second and 10. Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man has got it, the tight end. Touchdown, Eagles! Dallas Goddard, 26 yards. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game.
Elliott good with a PAT. And we are tied at seven. They kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in there. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. A second down throw for Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. He'll get it inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Here's second and nine. Inside give to Elliott. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Right where they set him down started. They need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. To throw is Prescott. Open man lamb. It's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Two first half touchdown passes down for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have moved out in front. No, oh, he missed the PAT. No good on the extra point, so a let down there. And this will stay a six-point ball game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Throwing his hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. 
Gardner, when you're playing cover two, this is like a tag team for the safeties. Each of them gets a half field responsibility. Their job stay as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, read the football, and go make a play. In this case, the free safety made the best play, an interception. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The touch and time are critical. For the fact that I'm struggling against you is really blowing my mind. Either just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Prescott on first down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. On first and 10, Prescott. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser White. There he goes, left side. 30, 20, 10, 5. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Elliott now to add the extra point. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Fields this way up at the 17. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Well, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point, he just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. We'll just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner... Was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it, try and get some points. While well, the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple drives, they want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They'll go again with Sanders. And he's got some space here. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. 50 yards rushing for him now. And he's only carried the ball four times. So three plays already first and goal. And they are wasting little time. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. It was a small, magical spread to overcome. A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. On second and ten, Prescott. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Yeah, keep doing that same bull. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? It's caught at the 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs>